Hi friends, in this video, we are going to make a serial port programmer for Avia microcontroller. And we also gonna see what is a programmer and why we need it. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. Microcontroller programmer is also known as microcontroller burner. A microcontroller programmer is a hardware device with a software used to transfer the machine language code to microcontroller. The machine code is stored in a hex file. Microcontroller programmer is an interfacing device between your computer and the microcontroller. The programming software reads the data from hex file and feeds it to the microcontroller memory. A serial port programmer is a programmer which uses the serial port of your computer to get the data from the hex file. So the most important thing to make this programmer is serial port. If you don't have a computer with serial port, then you can use a USB to serial converter as I'm gonna use in this video. So let's do all the connections and make this programmer. So these are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect DB9 female connector and connect its pin number 5 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 pin male header and connect its pin number 5 to ground and its pin number 2 to pin number 8 of DB9 connector. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin 3 of DB9 connector. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 4 of male header and its pin number 2 to remaining pin of 1K resistor and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of BC547 transistor and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 4 of DB9 connector and its other pin to pin number 3 of male header. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt Zener diode and connect its cathode to pin number 3 of male header and its anode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 6 and 7 of DB9 connector and its other pin to pin number 1 of male header. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt Zener diode and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of male header and its anode to ground. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's program an AVR microcontroller with this programmer. So I'm gonna program an 8 mega 8 AVR microcontroller. To program this microcontroller, we need to connect a few passive components with the microcontroller. So first we need to know the pin configuration of microcontroller. We can find the pin configuration of microcontroller in its datasheet. First we need to connect a 10K resistor to pin number 1 and pin number 7 of the microcontroller. Now we need to connect a 16MHz crystal to pin number 9 and 10 of the microcontroller. Now connect a 22 picofarad non-polar capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 9 of the microcontroller and its other pin to ground. Now connect another 22 picofarad non-polar capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 10 of the microcontroller and its other pin to ground. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 14 of the microcontroller. Now connect an LED and connect its anode to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and its other pin to ground. 
Now we need to connect the programmer to the microcontroller. First connect the ground pin of the programmer to ground. Now connect SCK pin of the programmer to pin number 19 of the microcontroller. Now connect MISO pin of the programmer to pin 18 of the microcontroller. Now connect MOSI pin of the programmer to pin 17 of the microcontroller. Now connect reset pin of the programmer to pin number 1 of the microcontroller. Now connect the programmer to the serial port. The software we are going to use with this programmer is Proga ISP. First open the software and go to config option. Now select the serial port to which you have connected the programmer. After that go to program. Now go to chip select option and select your microcontroller. For me it is at mega 8. Now click on RD button. If you see the message read ID successfully then you are ready to go. Now click on load file option and select the hex file you want to upload to the microcontroller. To select the fuse bits click on this button. For low value type EF. And for high value type C9. Now click on write. After that click on erase chip. Now click on write flash. And that's it. You have successfully programmed the microcontroller. So that's it for today. I hope you have learned something from this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.